Hello, and welcome to learn how to create a placement using the Frosmo platform. A placement is a container element on a web page in which you could show dynamic content to your visitors. This content can be a banner, like in this example, or an element in the page sidebar, footer, or basically anywhere. The content can also be personalized or generic. In this tutorial, I will create a placement for showing content at the bottom of a web page. I create this placement in the Frosmo control panel, which is your interface for all things Frosmo. As you can see, I've already logged into the control panel. To create or edit a placement, I first select Modifications and then Placements. In this view, we can see a list of all the placements created for my site. In this case, the site has only one placement. You can actually use the same placement for multiple modifications. You don't need to create a new one every time. I'll create a brand new placement just for learning purposes. So, I simply select Create Placement here at the top of the list, and we can see the placement details. First, I give a description name for the placement. We recommend a naming format that contains both the location of the placement on the page and the pages on which the placement is valid so that you can later easily find a suitable placement for your content. The placement description is optional, so I'll leave it empty. Next, I select a target element in which to show content. Placements are relative to the elements in the page code, so how the placement actually appears depends on the structure of the page. Every HTML web page has a body element, so I will use that to make sure that the placement works everywhere. Since we want to show the content at the bottom of the page, I select After Content as the display method so that our modification is shown below all the other content already on the page. Since we want our placement to be valid for every single page on the site, I don't need to use a URL matcher or any of the advanced options, so I just click Save. Go back to the Placements list, and we can see that a new placement has appeared on the list. This is my site. As you can see, there are different elements on the site. The placement we just created is set to display below all the other body content on the page, including the footer. I've connected it to a very simple modification, so when I reload the page, the placement and modification appear at the very bottom of the page. That's how simple it is! Thank you for watching. And don't forget to watch our tutorial about how to connect a placement to a content modification.